Domestic disputes are among the most dangerous assignments for police officers. Trooper Joel Davis was shot last night responding to a domestic dispute near Fort Drum. Army Staff Sergeant Justin Walters is accused of fatally shooting his wife and Trooper Davis before he was taken into custody. In 2016, domestic disputes topped the list of circumstances ending with a police officer's death. Lynette Adams is on the story. And Lynette, is there a way to keep police officers safe in these situations? Well, Jennifer, that's the question we asked Gates Police Chief Jim Van Brederode. He says officers are trained for domestic violence situations. Unfortunately, however, there's really no way for them to protect themselves. We'll get uh, five phone calls to 911 over a barking dog complaint. Uh, yet we'll have a family fight going on with crashing and loud noises, and, and it's like nobody calls the police. And if police are called, Gates Police Chief Jim Van Brederode says an officer can end up in the middle of a family fight, almost blind, not knowing what he or she will encounter. When you go into someone's house, you're on their territory. You, you are a visitor in their territory. Uh, they know the, the layout of that house. They know where weapons are. And you are totally at the disadvantage as a police officer when you respond to these calls, uh, which makes them extremely difficult. Van Brederode says this latest shooting of a trooper near Watertown shows that danger and that our society has not yet adequately addressed the crime of domestic violence. Police arrest the abusers, but a judge determines his or her fate. Jamie Saunders is the president and CEO of the Willow Domestic Violence Center. I can tell you that Willow Center served more than 7,000 clients last year alone. But these are each individuals, their families, their communities. And this should be a rallying call. Saunders says as a community, we can take a stand against domestic violence before a police officer arrives at the door of a home. Dating and domestic violence is 100% preventable. It is learned. Therefore, we as a community can work together to unlearn it, to show what is acceptable and what is unacceptable behavior. But it's going to take time, and it's going to take every single one of us, not only transmitting that to our children, but living those principles and calling out behavior when it is unsafe. It is never the victim's fault. It is never the victim's fault. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, there is help. You can call the number you see there on the screen. It's 222-7233. Again, 222-SAFE. That's the number to the Willow Domestic Violence Center. And we have other resources on our website at whec.com. We're live in Scottsville tonight. Lynette Adams, News 10 NBC.